Disney's Disneyland. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland. Tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland. Promise of things to come. Adventureland. The wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland. The happiest kingdom of them all. Presenting this week from Fantasyland, Four Tales on a Mouse. And now, your host, Walt Disney. Not long ago, we showed you how Mickey Mouse got his start. In his personal album, you saw some of the high spots in his climb to stardom. But Mickey is more than just a movie star. Actually, he's an impresario, sharing his spotlight with many new personalities. Some of them, through their association with Mickey, have gone on to become stars in their own right. There's Minnie, his girlfriend, and Pluto, his faithful dog, Clara Clark, Goofy, and of course, Donald Duck, and many others. When Mickey starred in the award-winning band concert, his friends were nothing more than bit players. Here's Goofy in one of his first roles. In the same picture, Donald was little more than an extra. Mickey quickly recognized the hidden talents in Donald and Goofy, and before long they were playing featured roles. In fact, when Mickey was captain of a whaling expedition, he kept himself in the background so they could have the opportunity to show what they could do. friend is his dog, is no better illustrated than in the relationship between Mickey and Pluto. To Mickey, Pluto is all dogs rolled into one. Like every dog owner, he believes his pooch is the smartest in the world. He's trained him to be a sled dog. A sheep dog. <sighs> A 
circus performer, even a caddy. So it was only natural for Mickey to think Pluto would excel at hunting. When the game is first sighted, a troop pointer will take his position and not move under any circumstances. Get that, Pluto? Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, don't move. Tonight, we'll have trail on toe and maybe a nice, big, juicy bear steak, huh? <laughs> couldn't bring home the bacon, at least he brought home the beans. And as the months rolled by, Mickey found that Pluto's new talent as a pointer came in quite handy, especially at Christmas time. a very special part in his life is his girlfriend, Minnie. They have been devoted to each other from the start. They grew up together and were practically inseparable. Minnie has always been Mickey's leading lady. And whether they shared exciting adventures in a rootin' tootin' western, romance in the graceful days of chivalry, or went on a date in the colorful era of the gay 90s, Minnie was always happiest when she was with Mickey. My fair roguish eyes In the moment his poor heart was stolen away A smile was all she gave to him Mickey's birthday is a big event here at the studio. He receives congratulations from all over the world. And you may be sure his friends here celebrate the occasion enthusiastically. This birthday candle is a memento with an interesting story behind it. It recalls when Minnie and the gang were planning to give Mickey a surprise party. Minnie was in the middle of preparations when who turned up unexpectedly?
sure, sure I will. Oh, thank you, Goofy. He's coming. Shh, hide. <laughs> theater, you'll share the excitement of a romantic adventure so strange and gripping that only an all-star cast could bring it to the screen. The Light in the Forest, starring Bess Parker, Wendell Corey, and Joanne Drew. And together for the first time in a motion picture, 